Hi everyone! Today we're playing Artie's World, and specifically the Arctic Adventure. All you need to do is to find the right zone and tap on it. So we're going to be going to the polar bear. Here we go! We've arrived in the Arctic. Did you know it can get as cold as minus 50 degrees centigrade here? That's pretty chilly. Oh, and it looks like someone needs our help straight away. Let's tap on the light bulb to see what we can draw. We're starting with a red line. And then a long red shape. A black line. Two black lines. And then one more to finish. Dog sled. Oh, we helped her to build her dog sled. You can tap on the characters to interact with them. Or tap on the name above. Dog sled. And when you're done, tap on Artie's face in the top right hand corner to return to the Arctic adventure. Let's get drawing some animals, shall we? Now, what could this be? We're starting with a semicircle. And then another. That could be feet or wings. I wonder what kind of animal we're drawing. Here's a trapezium. And another trapezium, but this one's upside down. Perhaps this is a tail. Now what kind of shape is this? It's quite complex. Be careful when you're drawing. And another one. I think these might be feet. And here's a head made of a circle. Another circle. Ah, these must be eyes. And a triangle for a beak will finish this off. Snowy Owl It's a little owl. Shall we see what it does if you tap on it? He caught something. Snowy owls aren't nocturnal like most owls. They can hunt during the day as well. Now, let's see what we're going to draw next. We're starting with a circle again. And then a bigger circle, which might be a body. A semicircle, perhaps a foot. And another. Here are two semicircles. Perhaps they're hands or paws. And a circle for the head will finish it off. Oh wait, this one needs big ears. I think I know what it is. Do you? Let's give him some eyes. And a little button nose. Except this one's a triangle. Arctic hair. It's a cute little arctic hair.
Arctic hares may look cute, but they can actually run up to 60 kilometers an hour. That's pretty speedy. Now, let's see who we're going to draw next. It looks like we're approaching some water. And we're starting with a semicircle this time. And then a little less than a quarter circle. A semicircle. There are a lot of curvy lines in this animal. And a circle for the head. Let's give it some eyes, shall we? One and two. What could this be? Is it a nose or a mouth? Oh, this looks like it's definitely the nose. Harp seal. Aw, it's a cute harp seal. And there's a baby as well. Did you know the name harp seal comes from the horseshoe or harp shaped marking on the backs of the male ones? And don't forget, all you have to do is tap on the creature you've created to interact with them. And tap on Artie to return to the Arctic. We're back on land now. Let's see what we have to draw next. A large and long blue rectangle. And then half of an oval shape. One leg, two, three, four. Now what kind of shape is this? There are a lot of straight lines and zigzag shapes. Ah, but this triangle is definitely an ear. Arctic fox. It's a little Arctic fox. Arctic foxes can increase the blood flow in their feet and that stops them from sticking to the freezing ice that they have to walk on every day. And you'll see that all of the animals here are often camouflaged with white and this is so they can blend into the snow really well. Let's see who we're going to visit next. This animal looks a bit like the Arctic fox, doesn't it? We're starting with a rectangle and that half an oval shape again. And it even has similar legs. Ah, but it looks like the head might be a bit of a different shape. it be? Here's its eye. And then a big nose on the end of its snout. And a triangle for an ear to finish it off. Arctic wolf. Oh, it's a wolf. They're a little bit like a fox, but much bigger. Arctic wolves can live in packs, and each pack can have a range, a place where they live, over thousands of square kilometres. Phew, that would really tire me out walking all that long way. Luckily, we just have to go a little bit further to find the next animal. This animal seems to be a different colour to the others. What could it be? We've drawn the body and the legs, and now a triangle for its tail. A 
and a long curve. This must be its nose. And a semicircle for a little ear. Oh, I see. Can you guess what this shape is? Reindeer. It's a reindeer, and the long shapes were the antlers on top of its head. Reindeer have quite furry, velvety looking antlers, but they can shed them every year to grow new ones. It looks like we might be visiting a bird next. Here's a black semicircle for the body. And it even has triangles for its feet. It looks like this bird has quite bright markings. Can you guess what it is? We're finishing it off with a triangular beak. Puffin. It's a puffin. Their colourful markings have earned them the nickname the Clowns of the Sea. They have colourful beaks with red and blue as well as the yellow. Now it looks like we're heading out onto the sea ice. What do you think we're going to encounter here? We're starting off with a brown semicircle. It looks like a similar shape to the seal. What else could look like a seal? Here's a circle for the head and more circles for the eyes. There's another circle to make its nose. And this shape must be its mouth. But it seems to have great big tusks. Walrus. It's a walrus. Male walruses can create a loud, bell-like noise using air sacs in their neck. That must be a pretty scary sight to see. They can use their tusks to pull themselves along and pull themselves out of the water and onto the ice. Luckily, we have stepping stones to get by with. Let's tap the light bulb and see who we're drawing next. This animal looks like it's quite long. Perhaps it's a whale. We're using triangles to create its fins and its tail. And one long line at the end. Narwhal. Wow! It's a narwhal. Narwhals are quite unusual looking creatures. Narwhals have one long tooth. It almost looks like a unicorn horn. But they're full of nerves, so that the narwhal can sense what's going on around it in the water. Careful on the ice, it must be pretty slippy. Right, so we're starting this animal with an oval then a triangle for its tail and another for its dorsal fin which is the fin that's on top of its body This animal has very unusual striking markings Have you guessed what it is yet?
orca. It's an orca or killer whale. But despite their name, orcas aren't actually whales. They are the largest kind of dolphin. Orcas are also extremely intelligent. They can even form different languages. It looks like we're reaching the edge of the water, but I think there's one more marine mammal to go. What are we drawing here? It's another long shape, like the narwhal. We're drawing a circle for its eye and triangles for its fins, just like last time. Beluga whale. Ah, this one's a beluga whale. They can also be called sea canaries because they're so talkative underwater with a range of clicks and squeaks. They can use the clicks like sonar and that helps them to sense what's going on around them. Phew, we're off the sea ice. That was a bit scary there. Let's go and see who we're going to visit next. This animal is made up of lots of circles. It looks like it might be quite a large animal. But it also looks quite round and cuddly. What do you think it could be? Here's the head. And here's a nice round ear. The finishing touch is its eyes. Polar bear. Wow, it's a polar bear. Now they may look cuddly and friendly, but they can be quite fearsome too. They're the largest land-based meat-eating animal. And while their fur might appear white, it's actually transparent and reflects the light of the sun. We're almost there. There's one more large animal to meet. We're starting with this zigzag shape and another zigzag. This little semicircle must be a tail. And now we're drawing straight lines for the legs. This animal has a long shaped head a bit like a cow. What kind of cow could live in the Arctic? Now we're drawing its horns. And then we'll draw the ears. And finally, we need to give it some facial features. Some eyes. And then a nose. Musk ox. It's a musk ox. They have two coats of fur. One long and coarse, and the other one short and soft. And this is how they stay warm. Excuse you, Mr. Muskox. Did no one teach you good manners? I think we'd better be moving swiftly onwards. There's one more drawing on our Arctic adventure. Who could this be? A long brown rectangle. And then what looks like two rectangles put together. And a triangle for an ear 
and then another triangle for the other ear. Now we're drawing a tail, and then we'll move on to straight lines for the legs. I think I know who this is. Husky. It's the husky that was missing from the dog sled earlier. Did you know huskies can pull a sled at 11 miles an hour and they can do that all day long if they're in a pack? Phew, we've come a long way, but we've finally reached the end of the Arctic adventure. When you're done, all you need to do is tap on the world icon. And it looks like we've earned some more cards for our collection. And a postcard for completing the Arctic adventure. Thank you so much for watching and playing along with me. And remember, there are more areas to come soon in Artie's world, so don't stop exploring. Bye!